Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will discuss about S3 cross account access where we will explore how to securely share data between AWS accounts using S3 cross account access. So let's get started. First of all, let us understand what S3 cross account access means. In AWS, each account operates independently, but sometimes you need to grant access to resources like S3 buckets across accounts. So cross account access allows you to just do that. So let us see. So suppose we have an AWS account, which is our dev account. And in this account, we have a S3 bucket having some application logs. And then we have another account, AWS account, which is our test account. And in this test account, we have a user, which is our which is a test engineer and he wants to read these log files from the S3 bucket in dev account. So using cross account access mechanisms, we can enable the user in different account to access S3 bucket in the dev account. So let us see how we can do this. So in the demo, I will uh, show you two methods. First method will be uh, using S3 bucket policy. So in this first method, we will create S3 bucket policy. We will configure the S3 bucket policy in the dev account that grants permission to the user or role in the test account to access the S3 bucket in the dev account. And in the second method, we will create a role in dev account with permissions to access the S3 bucket in the dev account. This role will be assumed by a user or role in the test account. So these are the two methods which we will show in this demo. So let us now uh, see the demo for this. Let me open the AWS console. One second. Let me open two accounts side by side. So this is my test account. So you can see this is my test account, test underscore account with ID 6546. And let me now open my dev account also. This is my dev account where I have my S3 bucket. So this is dev underscore account with uh, account ID 0825 and this is the test account. So in the dev account, in this account, uh, one second, in the dev account, let us go to the S3 service and in S3 I have this bucket, test bucket AWS tutorials. So I want this bucket to be accessible to the user in our test account. So let us first create a new user in test account. Go to IAM, users, create user. Let us say the name of our user is Tom. Next, next, create user. So user, our user is created now. So we want this user Tom to be able to access the S3 bucket in our account A in dev account. So in the dev account, go to the S3 bucket permissions and then here we have the bucket policy. So in this first method, we will use the bucket policy to uh, allow access cross account access so in the bucket policy edit and here we need to write the policy so i have this policy here already written so we can uh, we write the policy like this uh, one second let me show it in a notepad 
so this is the bucket policy in the bucket policy what we have done we have allowed effect is allowed for principal tom user tom in this account let us verify this is the correct arn so provide the arn of the user which is in different account and the action allowed action is s3 list bucket for the resource this is the bucket arn so for this bucket we are providing cross account access to the user tom which is in account test account to list bucket through this bucket policy i have created a separate video about uh, bucket policy uh, i will provide a link uh, in this video you can go through that video to see the details about bucket policy versus iem policy so now save changes so we have added this bucket policy to the to our s3 bucket to allow access cross account access to the user in the different account now this is the first step where in the dev account we have allowed access to the bucket now the second step is we need to also attach a policy to this uh, user in our test account that policy will allow allow him uh, give him permission to access cross account bucket so now go to the user and in permissions create a policy create inline policy for s3 list bucket and a specific bucket so in the bucket arn we need to give the arn of our bucket which is this in the dev account create policy so policy name is so let us say cross account s3 so now to this user we have attached this uh, policy this permission that this user is allowed list bucket to this bucket as we know uh, the name of the bucket is global across s3 service so here you can see we have not given any uh, account number like account number of the dev account it is not required to give we just need to give the arn and in the dev account we have uh, added the bucket policy which allows access to this user so in these two steps we can allow cross account access let us test this if it is working fine or not to test it let me uh, create access keys for this user so i have created the access key for this user tom so let me test this through aws cli so this is i am in my aws cli let me configure this user in the cli with a new profile let us say tom access key id secret access key now if if we can test it whether it is working fine or not aws s3 ls profile tom okay access denied while calling the list buckets operation so list buckets operation uh, through this list buckets uh, actually we are trying to list all the buckets whereas uh, through cross account access we have only allowed access to a particular bucket to this user so the correct command will, will be s3 ls then the bucket uh, name
so now we can see this user in account test this test account is able to access the bucket uh, our bucket and list its uh, objects so this was the first uh, method using s3 bucket policy now let us see another method which is uh, using iam rules so in this method we will create uh, an iam role in the dev account and that iam role can be assumed by any user or role in the test account so the first step would be we will create uh, an iam role in our bucket so let me first uh, remove this uh, bucket policy so that we don't have any confusions so now i have deleted this uh, bucket policy and also let us uh, remove this permission from the user tom so now now we can see the user is not able to list the objects because we have removed the permissions so let us now see our second method where we will create an iam role so in the dev account go to iam service and create a new role so this account for this account for this role the trusted entity will be the aws account so as we want to provide cross account access for this role through this role so the trusted entity will be aws account and here we need to provide the account id of the test account so go to the test account copy this account account id and paste it here next next a role name let us provide the name s3 account access so now our role is created so to this role we need to attach a, a policy which will allow access to the s3 bucket uh, to the other account so let us uh, create an inline policy for s3 we want only list bucket for a specific bucket so provide the bucket arn here so we have created this role now s3 account access so in this role you can see we have attached this policy which allows s3 list bucket for this bucket and that we have a trust relationship with another account but in this trust relationship we have in the arns we have provided uh, the root so through this trust relationship all the users in uh, account test accounts would be able to uh, access assume this role but we want only a particular user to be able to assume this role so let us edit the trust policy and provide the particular arn of this user so now only user tom from this account test account can assume this role so now the dev account part is done so in the dev account part what we did we created a role with trust relationship to other accounts user and in the permission we attached this policy which allows access to list bucket on this particular bucket now go to this test account and in the test account we will 
attach a policy to this user which will allow him to assume the role in our dev account so create an inline policy here and choose sts because we want sts assume role for this user sts assume role and here we we need to add the role arn which is our dev account role arn so now you can see this specific arn is in another account which is our dev account and this is the role arn cross account access it policy so now in our test account this user with this user we have attached the policy in which we are saying that this user is allowed to assume role and the role is this which is the role in our dev account so through this role the user should be able to access the s3 bucket so let us now test it so here what we will do we will for this user we will do aws sts assume role and the role arn which is this so this user can assume the role Python. Oh, there is some error in the command. Let me see. AWS STS assume role hyphen hyphen role arn. Okay. Role session name. Okay, name of the session. So you can see. we got temporary credentials for this uh, role that the user tom has assumed so using these temporary credentials these access key secret key secret access key and session token the user can now uh, access the s3 bucket using this method so in this video we saw the two uh, methods through which we can allow cross account access to our s3 bucket first using s3 bucket policy and second method is by creating an iam role and this role is assumed by a user in the second account this role can also be assumed by another role in our test account so this was all about uh, cross account access of s3 bucket in this video so i hope i was able to explain it If you like the video please uh, hit the like button and leave your comments and any suggestions or feedback and if you have not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing thank you